I'm using white felt and you can go ahead and draw out your shape or use something to help you trace that shape. In my case I didn't use any guide I just went ahead and cut the shapes because it's really simple. So I made three shapes. One of them is a large oval for the bottom of my snowman. The middle piece is a medium circle. And then the top part is about the same size as the circle except the shape is a bit different. It's wider at the bottom and a little bit curved and thinner at the top. For the hat I cut out half a circle and then turned it into more of a crescent shape. You're going to want to make two of these for the front and the back. Decorate it however you want by using ribbons or glitter or rhinestones. Later on I changed the ribbon so just ignore that for now. And on the top part I glued a blue pom pom ball and I'm using a hot glue gun. You can use any type of glue. For the face I'm using two wiggly eyes. You can use rhinestones or buttons or paint it on or use beads. For the nose I'm using an orange rhinestone and I'm also going to glue that on. I'm picking everything up using my pliers and just going to place it on like that. That way I don't have to touch the glue and it's safer. So once I have everything glued on, if you're going to hang this, you're going to want to glue in the piece in the center and then glue the back on. Then I cut a piece of felt and wrap that around. So I glued it at the back, wrapped it all the way around the front, and then glued it all the way around the back as well and cut the excess. Once that's glued on, I'm going to go ahead and cut out another piece of felt for the scarf. I'm actually going to cut out two pieces. So the front part, I'm going to measure it and leave a nice space on the right side. So I'm not going to apply any glue on that side. I'm just going to bend this and wrap it around and then place my second piece all over the back, making sure to leave the edge without any glue. Before I glue the scarf on, I'm going to go ahead and glue these two pieces. So the head to the medium piece and then the scarf. So you can see here, I'm going to fold my piece, place some glue there, and then glue that down. Once that's dry, I'm going to make a fringe. So I'm just going to cut some pieces at the end. And to decorate, I'm going to use some blue acrylic paint. I'm creating four lines and then four diagonal lines. I'm going to place a tiny little rhinestone in the middle. I'm using nail polish just because I didn't have anything else. You would use normal glue <laughs> instead of nail polish. I'm picking up my rhinestone and placing that in the center and making sure that it's well in there. And the nail polish did work, but glue is just better. Then I just outlined everything with that blue acrylic paint on my paintbrush. For the buttons I just used two stickers and painted on two black dots. You would probably want to use real buttons to make it look cuter. For the back I took a piece of felt and I'm taking two bobby pins and sliding those together. I'm just going to place that in the middle. So I'm going to glue the edges of the felt but not the middle part. It's going to be tight enough to where the bobby pins won't move, but loose enough that I'll be able to take them out once I'm done using my decoration. That way I don't have to waste any bobby pins. Then taking the back of my paintbrush, I'm just going to paint on the blush. And for the elastic, if you want to hang this anywhere, you would do that in the step that you're gluing both of the hat pieces together. That way it's sandwiched in between and nicely secure. But if you wait to the end, you could go ahead and glue it on the back. Or you can double knot your elastic and then just loop it and then you'll be able to have a piece on the top to hang this wherever you want. Another idea is while you're going with the hair things, if you do decide to go for the bobby pins like I did, is that you can add like a scarf that is a scrunchie and a hair clip for the top instead of a pom-pom. It's up to you if you want to give this as a gift in like a little stocking. 
so it would be a multi-purpose gift it would have some hair and accessories and then also work as decoration basically you guys can use this for whatever you want you can use this for stockings you can use this for tree ornaments hair clips hang on your door you can make it into a wreath make it as a pin just have fun with it and experiment you can make a bunch of them and just hang them around your house it's a fairly easy winter decoration to do so hopefully you guys will like it and try it out thank you guys for watching and i'll make a new video real soon bye